Hi, today's episode we're hanging out here at Crafted at the Port of Los Angeles and we are going to show you these really cool cards to make for the holidays and they have a special little surprise. Cindy, I just love this card you created using stamps and die cuts. It's a little so little mix of this and that. <laughs> and we did tell them there's a little surprise. This actually comes off, and you can see there's a pin on the back, so you can actually have a little um, brooch to wear mm -hmm. for the or holidays. Or it could be a Christmas ornament. You could use it as that. Or... Yeah. So I'd like you to show us how to use the die cut. Yes. First, we're going to do the flower part of it. Okay. And we're using the Spellbinders Grand Caliber machine and their dies. And what sets them apart is the intricate details that you get with their dies. And they also emboss, which is magical. So you're just kind of like squishing them all together? Yeah, I'm just so I can cut them all at once. I'm okay. going to put them all into the base plate and the machine does come with instructions on how to make these sandwiches as they call them on how to base cut. Plate. This one says base plate. So we're just going to cluster them. And this is just regular cardstock. It will work with fabric, it'll work with um, aluminum drink cans or plastic drink bottles, it'll cut a wide number of things. And then we put the cutting plate on top. This is normal, it will show the images you've cut before, it does not affect the cutting. So once you've got your sample in there with your cardstock on top, it goes into the machine and just cranks right through. I want to crank. Crank, crank, crank. It shows you how easy it is. No, the machine does have suction cups, so on a non-tablecloth surface, it will hold down and be nice and firm, and you won't have to hold it this way. Oh, I could feel it going through the die feel right it going. now. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of a weird angle to have to be cranking. <laughs> well, this is true. Thank you. <laughs> and here it comes right out. Okay. All right. Magic. And there are our dies. Now they're mm -hmm. cut, but they're not. Embossed. Embossed yet. And that's just another quick, simple step. I'll show you how to emboss on this big one because it'll show a little bit better. Oh, you just going to do it on the one? Yeah, we'll okay. just do it on this one and that'll show it. So you would, if it stays in, that's great. If it doesn't, you'd go ahead and put it back right in the way it came out. You use the same base plate, but you're going to use a different plate oh, up okay. here. We use the embossing sheet that comes with the machine. And the pink plate that says And the says pink embossing, embossing plate. plate. Again, it's all labeled, so Simple. it makes it easy. And then would you like to crank again? No, you're closer. <laughs> you oh, I can't catch, catch it. it for you. You can catch it. A Go ahead. It's out. There it's out. Go. All right. Okay. All right. Can I show the magic? Show the magic. Well, layer one, layer two. And out comes our beautiful... There it goes. If you have trouble getting it out, you can use the end of a scissor or something or a needle just to pop it through. It's those intricate details that make yeah, it hold it's, tight. Yeah, they're very, very beautifully detailed. And look at that. That's great. Look at the embossing on that. It's amazing. Okay. And so, I wanted to make the embossing, to make it highlight a little bit more, I just go over it with an ink pad and that makes it stand out. So I've gone ahead and got us ready with all of the different elements to make our pin. We did the same procedure. Yeah. You did that, you rubbed it on all the pieces These have all then? been, yes, I okay. did the same thing with this one. It depends on what color red you okay. use, but how light it'll do that. Oh, you did the, the leaves We cut green. two leaves. And I also inked those with a green ink pad just to bring out the embossing. And then I just cut one yellow center. And you okay, don't great. have to emboss the yellow center. Okay. So before I began layering it, I wanted it to be a little sturdier because we want it to be in pan or an ornament. So we use some of Judy Kin's diamond clays. And the trick with this is a little bit rather than a lot for this particular application okay. because we wanted it to dry nice and thin and lightweight. And I just use my fingertip. It's a water-based product, so it will wash right okay. off. So we put that light layer of diamond glaze on all of the petals and on the leaves, and we let them dry, and it dries very quickly. And it makes it sturdier, too. It really does sturdy up the cardstock. And it gives stock. it that great gloss. Mm -hmm. 
Diamond Glaze is also an adhesive, so you can also use it to adhere your different layers together, or you can use it to adhere other things. Would you like to go ahead and assemble our sure. poinsettia? Sure. Okay. I just alternated the direction of the leaves. You just put a little dot just of the diamond. Just a little dot of the diamond glaze in the center, and that will hold it when it dries. And kind of offset shift them. There we go. It goes together very quickly. I probably have enough from that last one to hold that one in place. Yeah, yeah. and then. But it will dry clear, so you don't have to worry about it showing when it's finished. Okay. All right. And then I added the leaves, and to add the leaves, I put the adhesive on the top and then mounted the flower okay. on top of it. You want to get our sample we can... Oh, sure. The leaves are just mounted to the back. Mm -hmm. We put just a pin like back on it, and we used a hot glue gun to do that. A hot glue gun. Just a little hot glue gun on the back of it. Put your pin back on. Yep. This is simple. And what we, I put the pin back on first, then I did the center, because the center takes a little bit longer to dry because we're going a little thicker with the diamond yeah. glaze. And you, if you have foam mounting tape, you can cut little tiny pieces of foam mounting tape to and hold put that it pin on back your on. pin back if you don't have a hot glue gun. Yeah. So that's also a great little yep. tip. Works great, works great. Now. So we're going to go ahead and mount this center piece. I mounted it with just the tiny spot, but then I'm going to go ahead and put a, a good thick coat on there. And we wanted to just give our center a little more dimension. And to do that, we're using some of these little glass yeah, beads. Yeah, these are really fun, these little glass. These are called 14 karat gold. And they I are really gold, that. shimmery, metallic beads. And it we gives just, it a great texture. We just made like a little uh, scooper from a piece of cardstock. Helps control where they land a little bit because you may still have areas of the petals that are wet. Oh. And if you're trying to sprinkle. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> As she says, I see them landing. But even the scoop gives you more control. Okay. And it, that's how we made our little pin. Once it starts to again. dry, once it dries, you can go ahead and bend your petals upward, give it a little more dimension, bend your leaves, and it makes it pop a little more. Okay. So we had our pin or ornament, but we wanted to make it into a greeting card. Right. Which is also super easy. Can we get this all out of the way? Why don't you show us how to do the card, Cindy? I took a piece of red cardstock, eight and a half by eleven, and cut it in half to create a five and a half by eight and a half card, which I just folded in half. It's a standard size card. And do you wanna? Mm -hmm. I also used another Spellbinders product, which is their Impressibilities, and these are metal plates that add embossing to cardstock. Whoops, like this, and it works the same way with the embossing plate. Okay. We then took a piece of green cardstock that's three and three quarters by five, and I stamped it with this great Harlequin stamp from Judykins with a green ink pad, mm -hmm. and mounted that kind of off center because I like things kind of off kilter a little bit. Mm -hmm. Our ribbon. It's a really pretty gold ribbon. I like this. I kind started it actually on the inside. Okay. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I like my cards to have detail both inside and out and mounted it across, as you can see. And then wrapped it. And then wrapped it around and mounted it. Perfect. And that way it dresses up all the sides. And then we did a sentiment stamp on a scrap piece of green paper inside, another great sentiment. And I see you did a little edging too I on that card. I inked the edges, yep, I just inked it to do that. You just rub it around the edges with super, an ink pad. Super, super easy, this is old school. Yeah, but old if you've never done it, it'll be new school Rubber to you. stamping, and if you haven't stamped before, it's easier that you don't squish, you just tap and then stamp. And then we're just simply gonna this put one's our- all inked and dry and everything. And it's quite easy, but if you smush and then really press hard, sometimes your image can blur a little bit. This is really pretty too. If you wanna give as a gift, there's nice little boxes. This will just fit right in and you can even stamp the cover on the mm -hmm. top or, or something. Or make a handmade envelope. Or make a handmade envelope. Yep, that's yep. perfect. Yep. So we're gonna show you one other little one just really quick, but we're just gonna talk you through it. This one's really fun. This is our little snowflake. Yep. And you wanna tell us a little bit how about this one? It's the same process. We used the Spellbinders Grand Caliber and we used the other holiday set to make the background out of a silver metallic cardstock. This has also been done with a snowflake impressibility to give it a little bit of texture. The bottle cap in the center has the Judykins, 
and it has her blue, cobalt blue rocks glitter, which is a great chunky glitter in the center. And that is also a pin. And what you did, how that works is you just puddle, a big puddle of the Judikins um, diamond glaze inside, mm -hmm. and then you put the rocks inside, and you do have to let that let set that up. Dry. Mm -hmm. And then you can attach it to the center of the snowflake. And I use the, the diamond snowflake. glaze to attach it to the center of the snowflake. I did put a little bit of the diamond glaze over the little pieces of the snowflake just to give that a little more heft, too. And so this is, as you can see, it's flopping because it is a pin. It's I don't want to take it off. But these are two super great, easy cards to do. Really a lot of fun. Cindy, thank you so much for bringing these ideas to us. We've been doing this as a make and take here at Crafted. And yes, they've really yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah, they have. Yeah. What do we say? When, when creativity, creativity knocks, open, open the, the door. door.